Welcome to trombone myth number one, the bicycle bump. You say, what? <laughs> I'll explain. There are many myths about the trombone and one that I've heard since I was just starting the trombone repeatedly from many of my teachers, even from my musicologist teachers in college. I don't know if this is a myth or if it's true, so I'm going to explain. In the early 1800s and mid-1800s, mid trombones started to be used more in the symphonic works and for more volume, they needed more volume, more playing. But the problem was that before this, in the Baroque and the Renaissance era, the trombone wasn't used as a power instrument. It was used to accompany, accompany vocals in the church or used uh, uh, um, just in small groups, and of course Baroque ensembles were much smaller and used sparingly. It wasn't used that much. From composers such as Mozart starting using in the opera, but it's more as a comic effect, you know, the trombone. Uh, Mozart starting using it. Then came along Beethoven, you know, Beethoven's fifth with three trombones, alto tenor uh, and bass trombone parts were very powerful. Now, the problem was most of the trombonists at the time hadn't adapted to this new style of playing. So, as the, the myth goes, that the, 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 the trombonists didn't have enough air to play long phrases and loud, loud phrases. So what did they do? The myth goes that they had to augment their air supply. <laughs> How did they do that? Well, we were told, the new students and music, music colleges told us that they used a bicycle pump in the corner of their mouths. There was even drawings, old drawings of trombone players with this bicycle pump playing. Wow! <laughs> Sounds a little bit crazy, doesn't it? But we all believed it. We said, oh yeah, that makes sense. That is pump these old trombones are badly made and they leaked all over the place they didn't have good spit valves or whatever they leaked a lot so they needed extra air well i'm here to either uh, prove that this is true or is this just a myth a joke that's been played upon us by our teachers and musicologists and the old trombone players so uh, before I prove this right or wrong, I need you to do one thing. Boop that like button or and subscribe to my channel because I need that to keep going. So, here we go. First thing you need to do, let's get my trombone out. Uh, then, when before I do this, I can't do this now while I'm talking, but I need to get all the air out of my lungs just so we don't show that I'm not cheating and I can only play with one hand well here I'm gonna try it get ready hold on off a pump I'll put it here oh I have a microphone here we go all there we go I don't think so. I don't think the bicycle pump <laughs> helped at all. I could only play one note at a time or so, and it sounds terrible. So, um, I guess uh, we were all pranked, all us trombone player students in throughout history. We've been pranked by those 18th century, 19th century trombonists. They did a prank on us, so it's wrong. But uh, keep 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 watching because I've got a surprise here at the end, a modern surprise. But wait, didn't didn't they know circular breathing back then? Because I I do circular breathing. I've got some lessons on it. If you want to learn circular breathing, uh, subscribe to my channel. I'll I'll help you with that. Uh, many trombonists, modern trombonists, use that uh, uh, today. Even trumpet players, Maynard Ferguson, etc., etc., use circular breathing. No. But back then they didn't they didn't know what circular breathing was. That was until a 20th century invention. 
what about um, like you see in the, in the in the car garages where they have compressed air and they use the machines? Da, 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 da. Wait a minute, 1800s, they didn't even have cars. They didn't have pneumatic tires. <laughs> that was an invent until a good year in the early early 20th century. So they didn't have any reserve air pumps. So, <laughs> uh, but wait, wait today. I got something. Let's try it. I've got something. Wait a minute. Let me get it. Again, I have a 13-year-old son, and of course, he's got lots of lots of balls that need pumping up in his bicycle, etc. So I bought one of these. It's a little air pump. It has a battery. Very modern in invention. I'm gonna turn it on. We're gonna try this and see if this works. <laughs> Get ready. You must think I'm nuts. I put a special nozzle on here. Ready? Right. Well, yeah. <laughs> My God, it worked, sort of. <laughs> a little bit noisy, but I could play. So, if those trombonists had terrible trombones today and couldn't get enough air in their horns, which was a myth. Now we know it's a big myth. So, subscribe to my channel and I'll try and do some more of these crazy myths for you.